Do you like hexproof? I like hexproof. This is the hexproof deck. We've got four Carnage Tyrants and four Divine Mares. But we've also this time included a Jade Guardian, because for some reason I never draw into my hexproof creatures, so I wanted another one. The only redeeming factor of Jade Guardian is quite shit. He's a 3 3 if he puts the counter on himself. 3 3 for 4, but he has hexproof, and there's no other hexproof creatures really that I can find that I want to put into the deck, so. Yeah, I guess Jade Guardian it is. We need some kind of game versus Mono Red, so there's 4 Fountain of Renewal. Two Cry of the Carnarium and four Golden Demises to sweep the board early. Uh, got an Asaurus Gateway, a little bit of life gain there. And then we got a lot of life gain, of course, if we can put down the Auras. We have four, uh, one Squire's Devotion, four on Sarah's Wings, and one Mark of the Vampire. So if we can just get, you know, on board, if we can just get something down versus Mono Red, we're most probably gonna win. Uh, because we have so much life gain. But getting there, though... Mm, not too easy. Yeah, let's see how we fare. Okay, we're doing ranked, of course. Let's see. For hexproofers, <laughs> we'll stand a chance against the mono red onslaught here. I think we have a decent game against a mid range deck. Since they probably can't interact too much with our creatures. Overgrown, overgrown forest, fountain of renewal. Yeah, this seems fine. And a golden demise, and a little bit of removal, and some way to find our uh, hexproofers and auras here. Seems good. Opponent goes first. Keep. Most probably gonna put down the overgrown tomb tapped. Of course, we need, want this down, though, so maybe. Depends. If it's mono red, I maybe put down the forest and then the renewal. That will unfortunately have to pay to life for this, though, next turn. Doesn't seem to be mono red. Teferi, Teferi icon playing mono red? Could be. Is Statov. What's his name? Okay. Yeah. Hope we're not Scrooge McDuck here. Yeah, let's bring down the fountain. Doesn't have haste yet, that's good at least. We are gonna take some damage here, but at least if we put that down an Evolving Wilds next turn, or this turn I mean, ooh, we drew into another. That's lucky, that's super lucky. Our opponent's gotta be swearing on the other side there. What the fuck is this deck running only a Fountain of Renewal? I know, I know, I built this deck. I know how much I hate playing against the red. And how I lose every time. Yeah, that's how much he hates this deck, I guess. Uh, we could go for a pl... No, we couldn't, can't go for a plane, sir. I'm about to screw this operation up. Can't do that yet. At some point we need to go for it. But not yet. Hopefully he'll put down another shitty creature. Yeah, like that. That's perfect. Perfect. Line them up to the golden demise. Perfect, thank you. Thanks so much. Take some damage here. Two. We'll gain two back though. Not the biggest deal. Does he have a spectacle? Seems like it. No? What is he doing? What is he doing? He could have just attacked there. Does he want something before attackers? Ah, okay. He wanted to trigger his lava runners, I guess. So here we unfortunately have to pay two life to get this into play, but we got a demise. That's something. This will be difficult. To f <laughs> we were very fortunate to draw into the fountains against Mono Red. He has a Chain Whirler. That's probably what he's gonna go for here, I think. 
Chain Whirler, then light up the stage. Can he do that even? I don't know. Spe yeah, I can. Spectacle. Ah, that's pretty good. Mountain, mountain though. That's not what he wanted, I don't think. And just tapped. I think this thing has to go. There's no nothing bigger in that deck, so I don't think. That we are more worried about than that. Yeah, we're at a comfortable 17 here. This seems to be going fine so far. But I've uh, I've been wrong before. Let's see, he has two mountains here. Experimental fancy. Yeah, that is something we maybe should have waited for and remove that instead. Let's we'll see. Let's we'll see if this comes back to bite us. Golden demise. Seems fine. Enters tapped. Do we do it now though? Or do we wait for more nonsense creatures? I think we can wait one turn and look for a creature here, would be nice. That's not creatures. Oh, but we need the land though. Maybe we should have kept the land. With all the auras, but none of the creatures. Yeah. Taking some damage. See how many he can chain here. Before he starts hitting lands. Two damage, yes, that's okay. Yeah, drawing into a creature here would be ideal. We'll see what we draw into. 15, that's good. Yeah, these fountains are a saving grace here. Or saving grace. Let's clear up the board. This into play tapped. Now we need to draw into a creature. We can't <laughs> we can't do this forever. At some point he will have too much shit on his side of the board. Mm -hmm. He's fingering. Destroy experimental fancy, okay. What does he have in hand though? Via Shino? That's can't why why you, why you destroyed it, I don't think. Okay, so we have all the enchantments of none of the creatures. I guess we put an end here and try to go for it. It's not dealing enough damage though, but he surely has something more else. Okay. Another frenzy. It's three damage, okay. Take two more. So question is, do we look for a... I think we need to look for a creature. Let's draw a card from this. Oh, there's a creature. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, there's an even bigger creature. So if we can just survive one turn, we're on 11 life. So it's not super easy for him to deal 11 damage, I don't think. Uh, will you have it? Uh, that's not still not enough. Still not enough. We have the mark of the vampire, so we can just life gain like crazy. Okay, another one. Haste. Does he have it all? Does he? That's lucky. That's insanely lucky. And also the white source there coming in handy. But it's not over yet. I mean, that guy has <laughs> dealt 11 damage, almost 11 damage last turn, so we are still close to dead. Resolve. Do we take 4 here? No, I think I decline here. I want just time is what I need here. Six. That's a lot of cards. Oh, of course. Of course I decline. He has a frenzy out. Can't do anything with that. 
the soul. Yeah, I can just decline her. Eh? There's nothing to worry about with his frenzy out. <laughs> he screwed up. He should have killed that frenzy if he wanted to do that. Or maybe, yeah, he needed to because they were both on the top right, so that's why he played them. They're not too great together though, those two cards. Maybe you should have opted not to use them both in the same deck. What is he doing? Yeah, he needs to exile something to get rid of a card, I guess. That has to be it. Yeah, my turn. Let's put some more auras on. <laughs> Let's make this guy ginormous. him up. Yeah, you need to get huge, buddy. Huge, I tell you. <laughs> ah, feels so good. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna lose from this position. No, I don't. Can he deal 23 damage? 23 damage with two blockers which can block and hexproof and everything. Five mana. There's no chance in hell that he can do it. Fifteen is the most. If he deals three damage from every card, three times five is fifteen. That's the most he could possibly do here. There's no way he has a card which deals more than three damage for one mana. I can think of any at least. Can you? Yeah, that won't do anything. Not enough, bro. Not even close. Still at starting life. Do you even mono red, bro? Do you even? Yeah. Go back up to 18 and then continue up to 30 soon. You are screwed, what red mage. I've cured it. I've cured the red cancer. Yeah, can't attack into this. The red scourge has been brought down. Ah, feels good. It's especially good against Mono Red, who has been my <laughs> Achilles heel, I guess. Yes, we are doing it. We took a game against Mono Red. What a decent hand they had. It wasn't a horrible hand they kept, but we were very lucky to draw into double fountain there. Shows you how crucial fountain is in that matchup. Okay. This is a hand, and I think it's keepable. The ritual of soot makes it keepable. And the discoveries. Yeah, let's keep this. I think we can do this. Hmm, is this a deck containing Drakes, maybe, that we're up against? Let's go for green here. Looks like a kind of a Drake deck. This no, I could be Jessica. Oh, it could be, what is this? His own brew, maybe? Oh, is this the... Uh, <laughs> I've seen a deck like this, which ran some adapt adapt stuff along. Uh, hmm, let's see. We need the mark of the vampire for our carnage tyrant later, so let's keep it. Yeah, what was I talking about? Yeah, I saw something like this. Uh, a deck which ran. Uh, the Gruel stuff along with the uh, Adapt Simic stuff looked decently strong. Let's see what he does here. He, does. he has a nice mix of that in his hand or something. 
Um, I guess we can search for some more lands here. Let's see, we need a green, but we have another green in hand. So, might as well go for... Hmm. Then again, we got more black, so why not search for a green here? Let's go for a discovery. Now we are okay. Those are both good cards. I don't think we need two Carnage Tyrants, but a Vinemare next turn could do. Definitely. Could be a nice could be a nice card here. Five mana though, he has a lot of mana. What is he playing? That's what I wonder. Okay, nothing. He's keeping three mana up. Counter spell. Might be. Seems like counter mana, right? So do we run a vine mare maybe into counter mana? Or the ritual? Which one? I guess the vine mare, because we have two. Nope. He didn't do anything. Maybe as a way to deal with it. Would be my guess. Biogenic boost. Okay, that's problematic for us. To say the least. Can clear up a lot of the oozes and the lawn worlds there. Hmm. Do we do that? Yeah, I guess we do. Ah, let's do that. Ritual of Sit. That way he loses oozes. Loses oozes. Yeah, a green mana. What does he have? Why does he pump this? Okay, I don't, I don't get that play really. Can't say I do. Let's attack here. He's never gonna block with the ooze, there's no chance. We drew into our two worst auras in the deck. We want the flying aura of course, but maybe this will have to do. Okay, four damage. Skaboosh. What does he have here? Okay, then ooze out. Does he run counter magic? So we could either go for Mark of the Vampire here. But I feel better having a Carnage Tyrant out, so yeah. It's probably holding up some kind of counter also, so. Yeah, let's go for an attack. Probably don't want to dive his ooze into the Tyrant as well. Seems unlikely. Which means it will be relegated to blocking duty. Can create another ooze, of course. Druid should not be a problem, probably. Three mana in hand, six six. Okay, that's a good draw. Let's get rid of the ooze. Ooze runes. Thank you very much. And now we can just seal the deal here, I guess, with a Mark of the Vampire. A Mr. Corny T. Seemed like he had a pretty sweet deck. Unfortunately for him, no detection towers. It's probably a removal in his hand there, would be my guess, which he never got to use. 
That's a sweet match. So, land stall. That's fun. That's fun. Not drawing any lands for six turns. That's fun. <laughs> Not salty at all. Guess that only happens to me, right? Doesn't happen to anyone else. But if there's ever a mode, I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. If there's ever a mode where they prevent land stall, that's what I'm only gonna play from there on out. I don't care. I don't care if it's best of one and uh, you can only play basics or something. That's fine. It's fine. Best of three. I'll play anything. As long as I don't get land stalled every game. Discovery. Ooh. Ooh. It looks like we're against red. So we might want both these actually. But we do need a land though. Do need a land. I think we're gonna... Oh, we don't have any white. Oh, I want both. Ah. I'm gonna keep both. I might regret this. We'll see. We'll see. Yep. Some kind of red damaging nonsense. I'm gonna pay to lie for this too, just to put get down the gateway so that we can get something going here. see how many turns we even get but we need a land and that's very very important if we could get a land and ritual of soot we would be in fine shape yes yes oh hallelujah oh that's okay that's okay two damage doesn't even hurt i'm fine two damage your play opponent fireblade artist attack yep that's okay light of sage put light fiend all those are acceptable cards I guess do we maybe even go for the golden demise here before we Put down the vine there. I think we do. I also can sacrifice stuff and damage us. That's not what I want. Yeah. Put an end stop at his end step and use the Azores gateway. We can pass the turn for now. Yeah, this is looking decent. We have a vine mirror and Sarah's wings in hand, so depending on what he plays, of course, but so far it's looking these, I'd say. Uh, looks naughty. Score a card and draw a card, okay. And before it's my turn, let's check out the top card. It's another <laughs> I want the fountain, but I I guess I will have to pitch it now, right? The Assassin's Trophy will be more important, I think. Let's put down a mirror. Another land tapped. And pass the turn. If we can just get this vine max to survive, it probably should. It probably doesn't have any way to remove this unless he's running. He's running something like the Eldest Reborn, maybe. Then this might be problematic. Otherwise, I guess we're fine. I think we're fine. I don't know. Are we? Are we fine? Are we fine? Oh, that's okay. That's okay. He doesn't want anything to do with the Azores Gateway. I can... Respect that. Though, with this kind of aggressive deck, I would probably have gone for the fountain here. It's gonna take me a long time before I get. Ooh. 
Oh, well, well. It's pretty good. Pretty good draw. <laughs> Even more life gain. And another fountain. This is going swimmingly. I think our opponent is just screwed now. Unless he has Eldest Reborn, then he is fine. Mm -hmm. That's a blocker. So we need two removals to deal with that, I guess. Let's draw a card out of this. See what we get. Another Vine Mare. Hmm. Let's put this down. No use in attacking here. We don't want to kill our own Vine Mare. Uh, or get him killed, I mean. I can keep up the Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, seems fine. If we can find one of our... We have two Cry of to the Carnarium and we have two... Okay, Spawn of Mayhem. That's something we might have to deal with. See if he attacks in here, that would be great. Doesn't. I think I will have to deal with that though, so let's kill the spawn. He will draw a card, that's unfortunate, but that's what it is. We could also buff this to get out of range. We got another uh, enchantment. Ooh, that's another assassin's trophy. Let's use this. Draw another card. Ooh, golden demise assassin's trophy. That means we have it next turn. We can just uh, assess the trophy the phoenix and then go for a golden demise to clear the board. Yeah, there's not much he can do here. I don't think. Okay, so let's go for it then. Let's kill this guy. He will draw a card out of this, I guess. Does it work for token? We're a non-token creature if you realize. Okay, so we won't draw off the token. That's good at least. Yeah. Then we're gonna clear up his board. He's gonna draw some cards. And then we're gonna deal four more damage, gaining four more life. That's pretty nice. Put out this, search for a land. And pass the turn. See what he has here. Another Rix Mahdi. Draw this card. I'm not sure about this card, I don't think it's not especially good, I don't think. Okay, more nonsense to deal with. Guess we'll have to draw into something more. Either a buff or something. Okay. I mean something, it's not what we need exactly. Let's put out another of these, and no attacks. I can start producing uh, one once though. Oh, this guy will get big, I didn't even think about it. He will get huge. But he can't attack unless he's big enough to kill us. And he won't be for a while. What does he do here? Attack? Why should I block that? He's just dead. Or? Ah, okay, I have another. Spawn and mayhem. Yeah. It 
need another board clear. Fortunately, we have like 12 board clears in this deck, so... <laughs> I don't know, how many do we run? We run... Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, we run 8 board clears. So, one more. Shouldn't be too much to ask for. I think. Or maybe... Maybe... If we could draw into an aura that makes this bigger, that would be really good. Okay, this is none of those things. I guess we can draw a card out of it. Forest, that's not really what we need either. Can force him to block here, losing both our Vinemers, that's not great. Yeah, let's just pass. Create a token at the end. Yeah. Oh, now I realized <laughs> he's dying from these guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah, those guys are pretty big. Pretty big. Will he attack in though? Will he? do it's counting maybe counting the damage I'm not that advanced I'm just gonna create a token and try to block favorably <laughs> this guy I think needs to go ah the scourge diva is most important to kill here if we can what is he counting though so we want these spawns to kill him I guess so we want them alive I guess is that the only thing it's going to attack with? Yeah, Freebooter doesn't do much. Looks smarty. Okay, okay. There's a lot of douchebags coming in here. No? Wait, what is he? What is he doing though? Um, let's see. With what he has here. I think... Do we create a token or do we draw from the vine? I think we just draw from the vine mirror. We need to draw into something. Uh, this guy seems important to... Get out of the way. And I guess this guy, then we're taking 7, 8, 9, uh, 7, 10, this is 13. That seems okay. I think. And one damage on the target. I guess that goes to my face. Yep, yep. Vine, not what we need here. Mm. You will be one of dead here. If you can just find some way to deal one damage to him. Hmm. We got a mark of the vampire. That's decent. We put it on. We are looking to be kind of dead though. But if we put this on this, yeah, I think this is our only chance, right? And draw out draw of this 
we have any reason to keep this here at a block, I guess. We need to draw into something pretty spectacular. The problem is, if I board clear here, I'm gonna take too much damage probably from all these Judith triggers. Sacrificing the spawn would be the easiest choice here. That's not what it's doing, it seems like. So... Yep. I really thought we had this in the bag, but... The series of draws there from the opponent was... unfortunate for us. I think we can survive this. Can we? We have some life gain though. We just need to survive this turn and then the spawns will kill him. <laughs> but I don't think we... No, we have 8 life gain here but that won't be enough at all. That won't be enough at all. Ah, he's just... He's doing it. We need one of his spawns of Mayhem to be alive. And then we just need to block as much damage as we can. Okay, let's see bring back. Hmm, yeah, this is an easy block. And what deals most damage here? Um, wish I had first strike. Guess it's any of these dorks. Yep. Haven't counted the damage, but I'm guessing I'm dead here. I'll let magic do the calculations. Yeah, I was way dead there. I really thought I had that game. Really thought I had it. Really thought I had it. More sweepers. We need 50 sweepers in the deck. <laughs> yep. That's a good game though. Good game. But it's not a good game unless I win. No. <laughs> what will we find? Tin push, tin pusher. Pushing tins around. Isolated chapel. Yeah, we can probably draw into a green source here. I think. Discovery into a green source. Yep. Yeah. Seems all right to me. Tin pusher. What is your new? <laughs> Another red mage. We've queued against a lot of red mages. So here, I guess it's green that we go fetch. And if we draw into a green source, we're probably in good shape here. Probably in good shape. Does he play Pyromancer? Be my guess. They all seem to run it. I don't think I've ever seen a list without the Pyromancer. Static field. That's all right, I guess. Let's go for a discover here and try to find a green source. Ooh, that is a green source. Don't think we're gonna need carnity. I think it's gonna be too late to the party here. 
these both come into play untapped, so yeah. I think we might be fast enough to beat this red deck here, I think. Quite likely. Quite likely. He hasn't had the fastest of starts, so unless he has some real combo with the electrostatic field here, I don't think he's gonna have enough to kill us. Unlikely. Mm -hmm. It's fingering stuff though. Yeah, light up the stage, that might be how it begins. We can just survive. Two turns we need to survive. But if we do... It's a lot to ask though against Mono Red, but we got a blocker at least, so... Let's see if he plays any more creatures or if he's heavy into the burn plan. He's going burn it seems. Yeah, down to 12. So, do we clear the board? Or do we vine me? I think we vine me here actually. I think that's the superior play. Just get a On Sarah's Wings or a Mark of the Vampire next turn. And just go life gain, life gain, life gain, life gain. <laughs> I think that's our best plan. We need to survive this turn. If we do, we are in good shape. Really good shape. After that, we can just clear up the board with Ritual of Soot and just keep attacking with the mayor. We shouldn't have any ways to. Kill the mayor. Unless they splash black for Hellas Reborn. I don't think they do. Seems like a stupid choice. <laughs> Doesn't fit the deck really. Risk factor. Oh, we are declining. Decline and your opponent draws three. You can draw three cards. If we have the lifelink, then we will be okay, I think. Again, six back. We could gain seven back next turn, but if we do, we ca don't have anything to block the fanatical fire run, so it's essentially the same as playing on Sarah's wings. Yeah, we're doing it here. Six life back, 13. Can he deal 13 damage though? He might. He has electrostatic field. If those are all burn spells in his hand, he can definitely deal 13. Exactly why he's doing that now doesn't really matter too much. Okay, so we're going up to 12. We're essentially at 11 since he has the fire brand out. Will he have 12 burn? He possibly has 12 burn. Not the electrostatic field, that is worrying. Might mean he has 12 burn. Ah. 11, 10. Yeah, he could burn us out here. Just needs 3 burn spells and we are done for. Yeah, screw the critics. Yes. One more and we are dead. Does he have it? Does he have it? Okay, that won't do it though. We're still fine, we're still alive. <laughs> That's by a miracle we are still alive after all this. It is beat down from the red deck. We need more life gain, so I think putting on another aura here, gaining us 8 life, is probably the best way to go. We are still not in the clear yet. Even though we've life gained a really big amount here, we are still still possible that we lose here. We're going up to 12 again though, but he has less cars this time. We'll see, it's a nail biter. It's a nail biter. Does he have it? Does he? 
Can we deal 12? 3 cards? You could easily deal 12 if those 3 are burn cards, you will deal 12. Risk factor. Oh, we are declining. You can draw your cards, mister. All we need is another turn, so if we can slow you down, we are fine with that. But two burn spells here. Okay, light up the stage. That's ring. Yeah, down to eight. Down to eight. Does he have it? I don't think with one mana. Oh, two mana. Okay, with two mana, he can kill us. Two burn spells, and we are dead. Does he have it? Remember, yes, they have two damage here, so they just need to deal six damage. That's not too difficult. Eh? That's not difficult at all. Pyromancer. That's not enough. That's victory. That is a victory. Another red mage down. It seems like this deck has a decent matchup against mono red actually. Victory. I think we found our mono red slayer here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.